Hello, gentle ladies and men. Welcome to the Women Today show with Christine Amira. This is Africa's most powerful women series, where we continue to highlight African women leaders drawn from politics, business, media, science, sports, and public life. The woman of today is Teresa Kachinda Moto from Malawi. Teresa is a chief of Desert District with a population of almost 1 million people. Chief Teresa is Malawian by nationality in a country where women cannot really be chiefs. She's the last born of 12 siblings with chieftain blood and a mother of five children. She's so passionate for her people and in helping them solve family disputes, abolish bad cultures to little boys and girls, and the main reason we continue to celebrate her is her fearless nature, fighting against child marriages in her country and banning sexual initiations of young girls in Malawi. So why she's fighting for all this is that so that young girls can be able to attain education. She once said that if a girl can get education, she will get what she wants. So what you need to know is that in Malawian culture, just like in many other African cultures around the continent, child marriages and domestic violence is quite rampant. In Malawi, the number has been on an all-time high. Therefore, Chief Kachindamoto is on a move to put an end to this, if not abate this practice altogether. So, you know they are not marrying for love, right? Right? They are marrying because of economic reasons. Their families cannot afford to provide basic skills. So, so far in her reign, Chief Kachindamoto has managed to raise the age of marital consent to 18 years old. And therefore, statistics by Forbes currently show that Chief Kachindamoto has annihilated 2,549 children, child marriages so far. But despite death threats and all the resistance, she still goes on. Another practice she's trying and she's so keen on abolishing is sex initiations, where before young girls are married off, they are set off in camps, what they call the kukasa fumbi, to teach them to please men sexually. So to graduate from the camp, sometimes they have to break their virginity to the teacher or instructor. Or if they go home as virgins, these girls are forced into sexual intercourse with strangers to practice what they learned. In her reign, therefore, she has had to dismiss 54 traditional leaders who did not obey her bylaws. Well, some were reinstated when they began following her bylaws. A law is a law. And we love her for her resilience. Long live Chief Kachinda Moto. And thank you so much to you, our viewers, for watching. That's it from us today at Women Today Show. Please remember to subscribe, to like, to follow us, and drop a comment. Tell us about that African woman leader who inspires you and why you'd like us to highlight them today. Bye!